guys. So this week, at the end of the week, we talked about the cow pins pattern. And one of the classes had a really interesting way of looking at the pattern that I wanted to share with you guys because I think it helped them get the equation much more quickly. So here we have one cow, the pin for one cow, and the pin for two cows. So this particular class said, well, you can see that you have to have two fence panels for every cow, right here and right here. And they said you could see that in every drawing. So here for two cows, you've got to have one for the first cow and one for the second cow. But then they said, so for every cow, you add two fence panels or two fence pieces or whatever you want to call it. But then they said you have to go back and close up the pen or the cows are going to run out the sides. So if you look at the front, you have to have three pieces on the front and three pieces on the back to close it up, or you could look at it as the left and the right. Here for two cows, you still have these same three on the left to close up that side, and three on the right to close up the other side. I thought that was a really cool way of looking at it. Most of the classes up until this point have seen them as four and four and then one on each side, which totally works. You can write an equation from any way that you see it. But from the way you see this pattern, this is how they came up with their equation. So they said for every cow, you add two fence panels, okay? For every cow, you add two fence panels. So if you're doing something, oh, you're adding over and over and over again, what operation is the same thing as adding over and over again? They decided that they wanted to use multiplication. So if we defined our variables, they said that X was the number of cows and Y was the total number of fence panels. So they said the total number of fence panels, the very first thing that you would do is two for every cow you have. They decided that was multiplication, so two times the number of cows. But that only gives you the purple piece. To get the orange piece, what do you have to do? They actually saw it two ways. They said, add the left and add the right. So y equals two times the number of cows or two x plus three plus three. Another student said, well, if you're adding three on the left and three on the right, when you go to buy the fence panels, you are gonna have to buy a total of six so why don't we just, ooh, that's a terrible R. They said, why don't we just add those together and say Y equals two X plus six. I thought that was a really interesting way of looking at it. And I think it also shows how important it is for you to have a very good verbal description. So as we're working through our new patterns this week, make sure that you are paying attention to the words that you write and try to make sure that your verbal description addresses all the parts of the pattern. Because when you get this part down, you can see. You can see your equation in your verbal description. Every cow add two, two X, and then add three on each side. That's your plus three plus three or your plus six. I hope you guys are enjoying doing the patterns as much as I am enjoying listening to how you see them and just send us an email if you have any questions. We will see you live on WebEx this week, and we look forward to all the awesome things that you guys are going to do. Have a great day.